What's up guys? I'm so happy that my WordPress.com free blog video has now reached over 20,000 views. Thank you so much for all of your feedback. Any questions you might have, as always, please pose any questions to the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer as you have seen. So thank you very much to all of my subscribers and viewers to that video and all my others. So anyway, in this video, we are going to quickly take that blog that I created for you guys in that previous video, and we are going to add a feedback slash contact form from which you'll be able to collect contacts and to even uh, extract those contacts into a CSV file. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to wordpress.com and we're gonna log in. Now, once we're logged in, we're gonna go over to my sites and of course your blog, if you've got multiple blogs set up or websites set up, they'll all show up there. You'll just select the one that you wanna set up your format. And then we're gonna go down to site and then pages. And then we're gonna create a new page. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a blank page and use a blank layout. And we're gonna call this page, contact me. And then we're just gonna add a form block here. So what I did there is I hit the plus sign and I'm gonna select the contact form option here. So there, now it's given us a contact form and this contact form includes name, email, and a message. Now, I don't want just people's names and emails, I want them to actually send me a message. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna require this message field. And I'm gonna hit that little star there when I click on the field and it will make it required. Now let's just say I'm not happy with just these three fields. I wanna add a phone number field for instance. If I'm running a business where I need to get a hold of people over the phone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, let's just say I wanna add it after the name field. I'm gonna click over here on the name field, hit these three dots here and then insert after, hit this plus sign now, phone number, if it doesn't show up here, we're gonna hit browse all, and we're gonna select phone number. Now, what that will do is it will validate this field, which means that it'll make sure that whatever is input matches the format of a phone number. And then, of course, I want to have that required. The reason I'm having everything required is when you have people contact you or you're collecting contacts for any reason, you definitely want to make sure that you have the most thorough information possible. And then that's it, I'm gonna publish this page. And now you'll see it show up here. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and open this in new tab. And there is my contact page. Now you're probably wondering what happens after somebody fills this out, where does all this go? Well, you can set that here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the form, select anywhere on the form, go up to this little guy, go to the parent, and then we're gonna hit this little edit button. And right here is where we can input what happens. Now here, it says the email address to send this to. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my own email address in here. And then uh, what is the subject line of the email coming in? I'm just gonna put new website contact. And then on the last step, it's gonna ask you on submission, what do you want happening with the user? So your website can just show a summary, you can show some custom text, or you can have it redirect to another web page. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another page that we can redirect to. And so I'm just gonna put that aside real quick and not select anything and then hit update. Now going back to the WordPress panel here, I'm gonna add a new page. I'm gonna use a blank template and then I'm gonna call this page, thank you for, thank you for getting in touch. And then what I'm gonna do is put a subtitle that says, check out how I made this web page uh, website. And I'm gonna turn that into a heading. And then I'm gonna put in my YouTube video um, where I created this website. Embed that, and then I'm just gonna make it a wider width block. And then I'm gonna publish it. Now this won't be a visible page, it'll only be linked to from that form. So now I'm gonna go back to my contact me page. Oops, hold on, forgot to update the page. And then go back to contact me. Now I have a page set up where I can redirect this form to. So once again, I'm gonna go up to the form settings. Then now I'll be able to select which page I wanna to go to. 
I can type in the address of the page or I can search for one of the pages. There you go. Thank you for getting in touch. And it automatically puts that link into this field. Now I've got that completed. I'm going to go ahead and update. Now I'm going to refresh my contact page and then I'm going to go ahead and complete this form. Once I've finished completing this form, I'm going to hit contact us. And there we go. Now I've landed on this page that says, thank you for getting in touch. Check out how I made this website and the video that's embedded here. Now there's two places where these form submissions go. The first place is right here back in WordPress. And if you go back to your dashboard, they're going to be here in the feedback section under site. So if you drop down site, they're under feedback. And there you go. You see two form submissions that were made here. One that I made previously uh, with an old page that I had made. And then this one is the one that I just created. In here, not only can you view the contacts, but you can also download them as a CSV. Depending on which page you have your contact forms on or feedback forms, again, you can have multiple across your site. You can choose any one of them or you can choose them all and download them all. And it'll go ahead and download that in a CSV file. The other place where you'll see the form submission pop up, of course, is in your email. Remember previously, we input a email address to which you want every form submission to be sent to. Well, this is where it goes. Um, the beauty of this is it shows you what page they came from. And so let's just say you have multiple forms across your site that do different things. It'll tell you here which contact form they came from. It'll tell you the IP address of the user, as well as any information that they put in. The best part about this is if you want to reply straight to that person, all you have to do is hit the reply button and their email address will automatically be input into this, uh, this area here and you can just start typing from there. So now of course we've got our contact me page set up. The last thing I need to do is put it into my uh, navigation. As you can see in my website here that I set up, there is no contact uh, link up here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that right now. And the way to do that is by going down to design in the dashboard, customize, and then go down to menus, primary, and then we're just going to add that page. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename it contact instead of contact me. And then I'm going to save changes, head back. And you can see that the contact link has already shown up there. All I got to do is refresh and it's there. One last thing I want to show you is just in case you want to style this button, for instance, um, it is not very hard to do so. All you've got to do is go down here, edit the page and then click on the button and then you can edit everything. So of course there's no us, it's just me and my website. So I'm just going to change that to contact me. I'm going to make it an outline button and maybe turn it to black because I like black and white stuff. And then let's just say I want to add a little paragraph of text here. Um, all you've got to do is click on this uh, block here, insert before, and then you can just add a paragraph of text. Okay, so I've typed up that paragraph and then I'm gonna insert a little bit of space here. There we go, a spacer. So this is an adjustable spacer. So I can, I can insert any amount of space below uh, that paragraph. I'm just going to add a little bit of space to separate it because I think it was crammed up against it. It looked, it kind of all kind of mushed together and flowed together. So I didn't want that. Um, so now it's got a little bit of visual separation, looks nice and clean. And all I got to do is save. And then I can go down and view the page. And there we go, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And guys, as always, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, please don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below. I read every single comment and I try to respond as well. Thanks for watching, guys.